All right, guys, so we finally got the pontoon system out. It's running the 35cc Honda motor. Again, not a clone, it's a Honda. And I gotta tell you, just getting used to this thing is totally different than a kayak. This thing is so balanced, it doesn't take any effort to move this thing. And I guess I wasn't prepared for that, so I almost fell off this, but um, now that I have my bearing, I'm actually sitting on the deck. You'll see pictures probably on the website. I'm sitting on the cooler, but that was a little bit high. So I am sitting on a pad on the deck and just enjoying myself and we're getting ready to go underway here and show you what this thing can do. I will time it. I think I got about almost six miles an hour out of it. Um, it doesn't take much to move it. So I'll give you guys some live motion video. We're out here on Biscayne Bay, Hobie Beach. Hopefully we don't have to deal with the red tide here, but um, again, the moving videos will be next. Okay, so as you can see, we're running. Beautiful day out, let me tell you. Not much of a chop. Again, this is totally fabricated. This deck is an ATV deck on expanded craft pontoons, and it works like a champ, to be honest with you. I have my rod just kind of hanging there with bungees, which I am going to build some mounts for them. Of course, you always have to have your paddle. I got my kayak paddle, which of course isn't wide enough, so I need to get a paddleboard paddle, so when I stand up, I can paddle around. Very cool setup. But again, this is the beginning. Here we go. I mean, if you notice the nose, it's not barely touching the water. I mean, this thing is it's just no effort. I mean, it's like these motors were made for it. I mean, literally. We're just cruising here. I'm not trying to do 100 miles an hour here. Just want to see what it can do. Sorry about the light. Okay, so, ran at full throttle. We got 6.9 miles an hour out of it. I did not think we were going that fast, to be honest with you. Now, it cavitates a bit when you turn, only because, and I'll show it to you in a minute, because the motor really needs to go down another inch. But that is not a game changer at all. Literally, it cavitated, because I try to turn hard right. But again, I could care less about it, to be honest with you. This thing, I mean, 6.9, you don't feel like 6.9. A kayak, you feel it. When you're going six miles an hour, you feel it. For some reason, you know, the hole, well, they're not really holes technically, they're pontoons. They in themselves just cut the water. You don't, you just glide right over. You cut them with a razor blade. So I'm gonna crank this thing again. Now this was 6.9 going into a cross current. So now we're gonna go the other way. So let's see what this thing can do and I'll show you how it cavitates as well. So we're gonna turn hard right. Not full throttle though. Now watch this thing. This thing actually revs all RPMs. It doesn't stop at three quarters. And I'm assuming it's because of the lack of, for better words, I guess the fact that the, you know, it's cutting the water much better. There's no friction. All right, there's Key Biscayne's bridge. So we're gonna hang up here a little bit. See, I try to turn left there. You'll hear a cavitate just a little bit. I'm running it unlocked just so you guys know. So if it pops up, there's a reason why. That's why it cavitates as well. I will lock it down later and see if there's a difference and we'll run it back. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in against the current. It's hard to tell when you're going with the current what you're actually doing. But you're moving along with it quite nicely. All right, we're gonna open it up here. You guys got some music in the background. I guess you're having a party at the Sea Aquarium. We are running about 80% throttle here on the lot. Not too shabby. I mean, look at that nose. Those things are not even in the water. Sorry, guys, just cut a turn. So now what we're about to do is we're going to go ahead and run this. Tiller extension is on. As 
you can see, you can almost let go of this motor. It doesn't go anywhere. I have it tightened down, so it's actually like cruise control. So we're gonna cruise out now. Water's gotten real flat. Just gotta get around these swimmers, man. They're everywhere. All right, we're gonna roll. This cruise, I've got no wake zone, so I can't go fast. Options actually work and we haven't sunk, we haven't flipped. Beautiful day out. So we're gonna cruise under the bridge and go over to uh, the island where I can take some new pics. Gotta get some of that right there. guys just to show you what this thing can do we are now in a little bit rougher water I mean this thing handles it I gotta, I gotta show you guys this is no joke the motor and the boat up this handle it does it thing twice you know going in the main channel underneath breaking back our causeway right now just to see what this thing can do I have no issue as to if this thing is stable or not I'm trying to find rough water and I'm finding it I'm just cruising through it. I mean, this is not calm whatsoever, but I tell you, it, it took it. I wasn't going to originally film this, but as I was holding on, thinking I'm going to have to brace myself, but that didn't happen. But it's picking up. I think we're rocking, but we're stable. You can see, we're not, there's just no uh, flat water now. I'm bouncing. But I don't have a problem whatsoever. I mean, I am rocking and rolling, but it is stable. If I get some white caps, I'll definitely film that as you guys can see the plowing through it. Kind of cool. All right, guys, we're going out of the bridge here. A lot of cross current here. I can feel the back end swaying around. Going slow. Picking up a little 
little speedy though. Come on. Come on, current. There we go. Now we're gonna get in some rough water over here. There's no doubt this is cross current right here. I'm gonna head over that island over the shipping containers are at. Check it out on this side. We're gonna head over there to that island. Now we're gonna go into this. This is always rougher over here. And I am literally just doing about 40% throttle, cruising about four. And I can't believe I've made it so far with such a little amount of gas and time. There's Rusty Pelican over there. Actually doing a circle here. I want to show you this rough water. This is some cross chop from hell right now. So I just did a circle because I had about four boats pass and I want to hit their wakes so you guys can kind of see what the sink can do. I mean, I'm literally sitting on the deck. And all the boaters keep looking at me like, what the hell is that thing? You can see, guys, those waves are not small, man. I don't feel like a little guy in the ocean, believe it or not. I would think I would, but I don't. I mean, that's some waves, dude. We're gonna cruise through it. You know, I got a little splash, but whatever, man. I'm wet. Who cares? Go play with the big boys. That's me goofing off. I go slow so you guys can see this thing work. Turn to sharp at cavities, but I got a nice fix for that. Dropping three more inches and it's game on. I got room. Let's go hug this side. Don't need to get hit by a boat. See if I can stay this for you guys. Alright, we're gonna grab some cross chop. We got a new wake zone coming up here. Hello guys. Yeah, and there's that stair, like what the hell is that thing? Love it. Here we go. Packs me up. Just literally cruising above idle. Now we're hitting the cross chop coming out of the bay. Oh, fuck. All right, buddy boy, come on. There goes that guy who doesn't want to obey limits. Now, as you can see, we got some rough water up here. Not rough, but no white caps. Give you a few seconds of this and then we're good. And I'll show you guys how stable the deck is in a moment. There's no way in hell I can title against this. No way. You need motor. Yeah. 
Yep, there's that cross top. You want to go right into it. Taking it. All right, we know what we can do. I'm gonna get on this thing and go play with the deck, and I gotta go fishing. So enough for playing with the toy. Sorry, guys. I, I gotta film one more shot here. I mean, we're going right into the current, trying to get the clear out of it, but we're cruising by. And this camera is really not bouncing too bad. So, funny story, I ran out of gas, of all people. I ran out of gas on the outside of the marker, I just kind of paddled in and I said, you know what, let's just see what this thing does. I'm not the most stable guy on my feet, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, pretty athletic to some degree, but not on a kayak. Well, I was like, well, I gotta paddle this thing. So I did, and not even with a uh, paddle, you know, paddle or paddle, I did for the kayak paddle. And uh, I was like, you know what, let's do some fishing. And uh, my God, this thing is stable. I mean, literally, I'm, I'm going back and forth and this thing rights itself. It will not flip over. I mean, literally, you'd have to pull one side over for it to actually flip. This is crazy. This really just is a game changer for me. Of course, I need to bring more gas next time. But again, I got about an hour and 45 minutes out of it, so I can't complain. So I'm just doing some light fishing here. I do have a seat if I want to sit on it and dangle my feet and fish, which I may do. But, uh, Man, this is, this is absolutely heaven. The stability, I just would not have thought it would be like this. Again, I'm not joking, man. This is literally me trying to just rotate this thing side to side, and that's it. It rides itself immediately. 